Do you suffer from swinging too far out to in or too far into out? Chances are you're going to be on one side of the swing path spectrum and changing your swing path can prove extremely problematic for a number of golfers. But today I'm going to share with you three simple ideas that you can put into place immediately to change your swing path and make you a better golfer. So the likelihood is that you need to work on your swing path. If you've taken lessons, you've no doubt been told that you're either swinging too much into out or too much out to in. And just a quick definition on those terms, the direction or the path of the swing can be summarized into being too much into out, which would be too far to the right for a right-handed golfer like this. And that would typically produce shots that are pushed to the right and that hook or draw and the opposite of that would be out to in that would be the club traveling in this direction excessively to the left for a right-handed golfer and that would typically produce shots that pull to the left and fade or slice to the right and if you've been told that you're swinging too much into out or out to in you've probably also been shown some drills to do to help you neutralize that and that's really what we're looking for here. We're not looking to be swinging excessively to the right or to the left like this. We don't want either of those. We're looking for something a lot more neutral. Why? It helps us to control low point or contact. It certainly helps us to control the direction of our ball, the, the control of the curve of the ball so we don't hit the ball so far offline. So there's some extremely beneficial things to swinging on a more neutral swing path. But think about it like this. If you're too much out to in, you need to feel the opposite, which is much more of the in-to-out pieces. So I'm going to share with you the way to increase the out-to-in or the in-to-out depending on your particular problem. So the first thing we're going to discuss is the turns, the rotation of the body in the swing. If I wanted to swing more in-to-out, so if I wanted my club to travel more in this direction or help fix a problem of someone who swung too much out-to-in, I would do the following. I would pull my right foot or my trail foot back slightly and turn it out more. These two things are going to help me to increase the rotation that I have in the backswing, which is a good thing, and it's going to help me reduce the rotation I have in the follow through. I don't want this great big wrap around finish if I'm already swinging too much out to in. So right foot pulled back and turned out for the purpose of increasing the turns on the backswing and reducing the turns on the follow through that should really improve my ability to swing into out. And as you can see, a bit of a draw, almost a slight overdraw there, which doesn't surprise me. My club path there moved to eight degrees into out, and that's excessive for me. Adding these pieces in for my swing isn't a great idea. I already swing a little bit too much into out as a, as a rule, so adding in these pieces is only going to encourage me to swing further into out. But if you swing out to in and cross the ball and you slice, incorporating that idea could really, really help you. And of course, if you're on the other side of the spectrum, we can reverse that idea. We can reduce the turns slightly in the backswing. One of the problems for a lot of golfers who swing too far into out is that they turn too far and get everything too deep and behind them. So strategies that we can employ keep the stance a little squarer, have the foot a little bit less flared, although I wouldn't turn it in fully, and then just resist a little bit of turning on the backswing. So it's gonna feel like there's a little bit less turn on the backswing, more turn in the follow through, more rotation. So in this example, my hips and shoulders have turned much further through. Something I often ask a student to feel is that their right shoulder gets closest to the target here in the finish to help them increase the turns in their follow through. So the expectation here would be that for me, the swing would get much straighter and it would encourage me to swing a little bit less into out. This is a good problem, a good solution, I should say for you, if you suffer with pushing and hooking the ball. I certainly felt much more rotation there, far more than I would normally do. My swing path there moved two degrees out to in and you see the ball is actually faded or even sliced off to the right. Not a great shot, but one that would certainly be a good feel for you, and this is what we're trying to discuss here, it would be a good feel for you to have extra turning on the follow through if you suffer from swinging too much into out. The second thing you can do to change your swing path instantly 
is to change your ball position. So the further back in your stance you put the ball, the more you'll be encouraging an into outswing path, and the further forward you put the ball in your stance, the more you'll be encouraging an out to in swing path. This is quite simply the most effective way of changing your swing path quickly. So if I wanted to swing more into out, I'd move the ball position back slightly. I'd now be more inclined to swing from the inside because I'm hitting the ball while still, the club's still traveling on this backside of the grid. We've talked about the grid in previous videos. So ball further back, let's see what it does to the path. Another push, kind of a straight push, it didn't really draw back. Again, that's going to move my path too much to the right, it's eight degrees to the right again. So once again, adding in the pieces that make the swing path go more into out for me isn't a great idea because I already do that enough. But again, if you're a slicer, moving the ball further back in your stance could really transform your swing path. And if I move the ball further forwards in my stance, I'm going to be more inclined to be swinging to the left when I hit the ball. This is a great little adjustment that I make on the golf course sometimes. If I start to overdraw the ball or if I wanted to hit a straighter one or one that even faded slightly. So ball position forwards, try and make a fairly normal swing. We'll see what that does to the swing path. Four degrees out to in. So it's clearly changed my delivery. It's not a shot that I'd be proud of on the golf course, but it definitely changed the, the, uh, the club path, which is really the goal of these changes. Pushing you to places that you would never have been before, getting you to experiment with different ends of the spectrum really helps you to understand how these changes can affect your swing path. And if you explore those different extremes, you can also then start to come back towards something a little bit less extreme, which hopefully will be the feeling that will transform your ability to control your, your swing path. And the final way to change your swing path would be via altering the handle position. So where and how you place the hands and the shaft at setup. The more you raise the shaft up and the more you push the shaft forwards, the more into out you will swing. So you can actually build that in at setup. I can have my hands higher, I can have the handle even slightly forwards, and the more that I do that, the more I'm projecting the swing path to be more into out. Let's hit one of those. Handle high, hands forward, let's hit one. Not bad, again, the draw pattern's very much in there, which I would expect it to be. That was 8.9 degrees into out, nine degrees. So I've swung around eight or nine degrees into out on all of those drills where I've added in the extra into out pieces. And as I've already said, I don't need those extra into out pieces. These are get, making my ball flight get quite extreme. But for the third time, could really help you. These pieces could really help you if you're a serial slicer or someone who swings out to in excessively. And if more up and forward can help you to swing more into out, then more down and back can help you to swing more out to in. So again, if you're a hooker of the golf ball, someone who suffers with swinging too much to the right, feel like your hands are more behind the ball and that you push the handle down lower. If you keep that alignment through impact, it should change your swing path. Two point four out to in. It's actually a really nice feel for me that if I want to take some curve off the ball, that one can really, really help you. And again, I've done this with driver today. You could be employing these tactics with any club in your bag. If you want to change your swing path, there are three specific ways there that you can go and experiment on the driving range. Take a piece of each of them, find out which one you like the best, and then go and take it to the golf course. And if there's one final piece of advice that I would add to those tips and drills, it's that you must exaggerate these changes. Just because you know you're supposed to swing more into out doesn't mean you're automatically going to do it. And you must exaggerate to the point where you push yourself to a place where you've probably never been before to discover the extreme feels that actually produce the appropriate reels. If you found today's video useful, please hit that like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel. I mentioned in that video that the ball position and how you change ball position can be one of the easiest ways to influence path. If you want to know more about ball position and, and why you've been doing it wrong all this time, 
Go and check out this video next, which talks about ball position in much more detail.